So we all know the modern pregnancy test, a quick accurate strip, huh? one line means you are not pregnant, two lines means you are pregnant, congratulations, huh? three lines means yes, Adidas. But you have you ever considered that fascinating journey of how humanity figure out if a woman was pregnant? For millennia, for millennia, my beloved, it was a mystery, a blend of observation, superstition, and surprisingly a dash of ancient science. Today I want to take you on a quick tour of pregnancy diagnosis from ancient Egypt to the cutting edge of today. So imagine ancient Egypt where women would urinate on barley and with seeds. So, gross of barley for a boy and wet for a girl. Sounds like magic, right? Uh, but, incredibly, studies show pregnant women's urine did stimulate growth due to estrogens. Fast forwarded uh, to the Middle Ages, so so-called peace prophets uh, would interpret urine color and even taste. Yes, taste. The presence of sweetness could indicate pregnancy and early, albeit crude, detection of glycosuria sometimes seen in pregnancy. And the real revolution began in early 20th century with the discovery of human chorionic gonadotropin, HCG. Yes, this hormone unique to pregnancy became our target. Early tests involved injecting a woman's urine into animals, mice, rabbits, even frogs. If the animal showed specific psychological changes, it confirmed pregnancy. No, then came the immunological says in the 1960s, leading to the rapid and accurate urine tests that we use today. These tests detect HCG with incredible sensitivity, often even before a missed period, even before. So from ancient seeds to animal bioassays to the simple, reliable stick we have now. The evolution of pregnancy diagnosis, my beloved, is a testament of human curiosity and scientific progress. Why not? It's a journey from superstition to sophisticated biochemistry, reminding us that even the most routine diagnostic tool has a rich and often surprising history. As future clinicians... Understanding this journey gives you and gives us a deeper appreciation for the tools uh, at our disposal and the incredibly ingenuity of those who came before us, my beloveds. Yes.